So this is the luscious garage on Clementina Street in San Francisco, which uh, makes plug-in conversions out of Priuses. And this is the uh, this is the setup here. We're actually working right now. And this is one of the actual plug-in Prius conversions. Uh, these are nickel metal hydride batteries from Gold Peak. And you can see how beautiful this is. Now this, this setup is uh, capable of actually driving the car on these batteries. So this is um, an add-on system that actually adds on to the existing pack. So look at the artwork on this. There's a plug and there is a surfer. And this is a converted Prius from Luscious Garage, which really works. So look at the artwork on here. There's the, there's the bridge, and there's the forest, and there's the more of the forest and birds. This is Luscious Garage, which did this plug-in conversion from PluginConversions.com. Here's what it looks like. This little battery pack <coughs> gives it the ability to drive up to, I can't remember the exact size, I think it's 8, it's uh, 8 miles to 20 miles or more on all electric power. So basically you've got, for a tiny cost, compared to the cost of the Volt, you've got a vehicle that is, could be better than the Volt. So naturally at the Luscious Garage they have uh, plants on the street uh, on the sidewalk to improve the neighborhood uh, but this is one of the vagaries of the of the permitting process PG&E required that they put a solar cutoff outside you know vulnerable to people coming by and just turning it off and also just kind of ugly this shouldn't be on the wall here there's no reason for a solar cutoff it isn't it isn't any dangerous it isn't any problem and there's there's absolutely no reason for, for, for requiring this extra, extra little cutoff. Why don't they have a cutoff for all the electric on the building?